life is wild. Maine is cold, New Hampshire's colder. Oh, it's me, Jay from Q. I'm back. This is what's Q. Why are we? <laughs> <laughs> So what is Q? Well, Q is the cherry bomb. The cherry bomb is our muzzle device. It's real small, it's real lightweight. It weighs two ounces, which is lighter than the A2 flash hider that you're used to, which means it's probably lighter than all the other muzzle devices you use. It's also 1.6 inches long, but when you add it to your barrel, you're only getting like 0.8 more inches. So a lot of people ask like, ooh, I have a 14.5, can I pin and weld it? No, well, I mean you can, but it's not gonna be 16 inches. The cherry bomb utilizes tapers above four threads. That's a thing that we're big on. We kind of started it, maybe, I don't know. Actually, machinists really started it, but the tapers before the threads, the tapers allow us to seal off that back portion of the cherry bomb, which keeps all the gases and carbon out from locking up your threads and all that. It also helps with alignment. So when you're putting a can on there, keeps you everything nice and concentric. That's a big word for you. Uh, it's basically the best silencer host on the market, really. If you can name a better one, let me know in the, what is it, in the comments below. The Cherry Bomb is 17-4 stainless and we heat treat it. A lot of people ask, why don't we coat it? Well, with coatings, specifically PVD, other things, it can mess with the tolerances. So I, some people aren't familiar with how tolerance stacks works. They can go Google that. But if you have uneven coating, it can mess with your alignment. The tolerance stack is just, it's important and we don't wanna mess with that. Also, coatings can allow, if you have the wrong thread, CGS, for your can to walk itself off, and we don't like that. We want your can to stay on there. You don't want to be shooting and worrying about if my can's wobbling around. Another point in regards to silencers, this acts as a sacrificial blast baffle. So a lot of companies, their silencer host is a flash hider. Depending on what your can's made of, that's not a big deal, but some cans, it can really eat up the inside of your can. Our cans have a, a blast baffle on them anyway, but this also acts as a sacrificial blast baffle. Sacrificial blast baffle. It's just gonna help with the durability. Your can's gonna last longer. It's not gonna be as hard on your can. I guess a point of contention that a lot of people talk about with this is why no wrench flats on the back? Well, we do have a wrench feature on the front. Uh, it's for a socket. We also tell you how to utilize it. If you torque this onto your barrel like we ask you to and then hand tighten your silencer, there should be no reason for it to get stuck. It's sealed off, you're not gonna get the carbon lock. The tapers also make it so you need 20% more torque to remove the can than you do to put it on. So if you just hand tighten it onto something that's already torqued down, you shouldn't have any need to put a wrench on there or whatever. Other companies think that they've improved the Cherry Bomb by adding those features. Uh, what they didn't realize is that, again, tolerances are a thing. So if you buy another company's muzzle device and throw our can on it and the tolerances are whack and it's out of a line, you blow your can up, that's not our fault. That's your fault or the manufacturer's fault, I guess. If you asked your mom to borrow her Geo Metro and you went and put a new motor in it and it didn't run anymore and you brought it to Geo and said, hey, fix my mom's car, uh, they're gonna tell you to eat shit. You've got somebody else's motor in it. Why are they responsible for that? So it's the same thing. Just use ours, do what we tell you to do, and you'll have no problems. You'll actually be uh, much happier. As far as variations, we've got a bunch. If you go to the place where you get our stuff, uh, you'll notice there's a bunch of variations, whether it be thread pitch size. We have 5 8 24, half 28. Uh, we have, we've got nine mil ones. We've, I think we've got a 45 one for some reason. There's 13 and a half by one left hand. There's a bunch of different thread pitches, bunch of different calibers. Pick the one that fits you, use that. Don't use the wrong one. If you buy a gun from us, you're gonna get a cherry bomb on it. If you buy an 8.6 gun from us, you're gonna get a cherry bomb XL on it. If you buy a can from us, you're gonna get two cherry bombs usually. A half 28, 5 8 24. Pick the one that works for you, use that one. Just like with a silencer, if you have a cherry bomb, as long as the bullet is smaller than the diameter of the bore on this, you can shoot it. Don't try to run a nine mil through your 30 cal cherry bomb and blow up your can and be mad at us because you did something crazy because you don't know math. There's much to be said about the cherry bomb. There's also not a lot to be said about the cherry bomb. It's perfect. It's right, it's light, it's pretty, it's tight, it's cute.